everyone, welcome to the final park vlog from this insane trip across Europe, more than six weeks. I can't believe it's coming to a close. My body's about ready though, I'm starting to feel a little sick and I'm definitely exhausted, so it's time to call it quits. But we're ending things out at a park called La Paul that I'm not very familiar with, but I've heard great things about it. This park opened in 1973, it's absolutely a family park. It's a hybrid zoo and amusement park. They are home to five different roller coasters, but a surprisingly nice, diverse collection. I'm really excited to get on a few of those. They actually just opened one of them this year. It's a mock rides water coaster with like a really huge like wave turn element. It looks pretty cool. The standout marquee attraction is Yukon Quad, which is an Intamin multi-launch family coaster. I'm very familiar with that ride because I've done an identical coaster in Denmark but I still really wanna make sure I get on it. The weather today, in this area at least, is a little bit iffy. Right now, we're just surrounded by dark clouds. There's no rain, but it absolutely won't be that way forever. There are supposed to be some pretty intense rain showers periodically until the park closes in a couple of hours. And that's another thing, we only have a couple of hours, so things really need to go smoothly if we wanna get everything done. Now in Europe, they don't always care about bad weather. They sometimes like to keep all their rides open in the lightning. But nevertheless, I'm gonna quickly run through this place. I wanna make sure that we get everything done that we wanna do. And then if the weather does get really bad and does go to crap, we can always check out some of the animals too. That sounds like a pretty good idea to me. So. Let's head inside La Paul. I'm excited to get in here, and before we do it, thank you to the park for providing complimentary admission as well. We appreciate it a lot. So we've made it to the front. We have about two hours, 15 minutes to explore the park, which isn't a lot of time, especially because I've heard the park is actually fairly big. There's a lot of areas where we're just kind of walking in the trees and there's no rides. That sounds pretty cool. I'm excited to see what the atmosphere of the park is like. Guys, we haven't even done one ride and it's already pouring rain, but here's Yukon Quad. Oh no, it's an empty train though. I don't know if it's down or what the deal is, but either way, we're in a hop in line. It says 30 minute wait on my app, which is kind of a lot actually. I'm surprised that many people are queuing considering the weather. This is an Intamin that opened in 2018. It's a clone of Uvalen at Jur Summerland in Denmark, which I absolutely love. Yeah, this looks fantastic. I'm very excited. So we have some run. Oh, it, it has people on it now. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's been going down and up a lot. It's down again. And this time it's probably going to be a while because we're hearing lots of lightning. So we've waited almost 45 minutes and they're finally about to do the first test run in just forever. It has been storming, pouring rain, but this is a good sign for things to potentially come. Here we go. Next clip. I should hopefully be on the coaster finally. Look at this layout, guys. It's sick. Oh, it's time after waiting an hour. We're getting on Yukon Quad, the park's standout coaster. I've got my brother on, I've got my mom on. Oh, this is surreal. I really, for a second, thought there, that we weren't gonna be able to ride this today, and here we are in the front row. It is still raining though. I think it's gonna hurt quite a bit. The hype was real, but we got on Yukon Quad. I love how everyone was cheering as we dispatch. It finally opened. Shout out to the dedication on the park, working to get the ride back open, but also keeping everyone updated on the status of the ride. That's something I love. And of course they're speaking French, so we can't understand that, but I could tell that the guests in line really appreciated that. As for the coaster itself, I think it is the best Intamin motorbike coaster I've ever done. Besides Hagrid's if you count that, but I personally don't classify that as the same model. Comparing this to Uvalen,
Summerlin at Jura Summerland in Denmark. It's almost exactly the same, except this one's a couple miles per hour faster in the second half. I don't think you can really feel that, but maybe it's just because we got a ride in the rain. That was so fun, but the coaster itself so smooth, amazing pacing. It's not too intense. It's not going to scare anyone away. I just thought it was the perfect middle ground to where every audience is going to enjoy it. It was such a fun ride and perfect for this park too, by the way. Look at this pathway. They just lined it with bamboo that's kind of wild it's actually is it real it's totally real bamboo that's really freaking cool <laughs> man this park is absolutely gorgeous i'm having a fantastic time just walking around the place as much as it is raining and i am cold it's just a really pleasant atmosphere not as much music just like a nice wooded setting and they kind of go for that more quiet vibe it's not the first park i've been to that kind of goes for that also fair up summerland in denmark you get that as well it's not just landscaping that they do well, it's the natural setting. Like this whole place is so wooded. Anyways, the next ride, since we're already wet, we're gonna get on a water coaster, Fjord Explorer. This just opened this year in 2024. 11 million euro investment for the park. It's a very unique layout for a mock water coaster. This was definitely number two priority just with it being so new. So I'm gonna get on this now and then hopefully we have still time to get on the rest of the coasters in the park. There's three more after this. Off we go on the new for 2020 ride fjord explorer this layout looks really crazy like i mentioned earlier there's this really gnarly like steep wave turn in the middle of the layout that i'm really excited for the splashdown feeling iffy about i'm already really wet <laughs> i'm cold too but i love the atmosphere landscaping music it all is great and a quick fun fact about la paul i was just thinking it's great to see them investing so much in the park still but i wanted to mention for the video they actually invest 25 percent of the revenue each year on new rides or animals or whatever it may be but it's really really cool of them i love that guys i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling like an ice cube right now <laughs> oh man i can't complain too much though this much rain would have shut down like a six flags park back in the states oh boy here we go oh 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 it feels like needles oh 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 my god whoa whoa this is crazy like at all from that wow or maybe it's just because i'm so used to being wet from the rain i don't know that was a great layout for a water coaster though <laughs> guys look at my hair right now i'm so wet this is not at all what i expected from my visit to la paul but i'm sending it guys <laughs> but man i gotta talk about that water coaster that was crazy that layout had some really insane elements i've never seen a water coaster with like that steep of an overbank and there's two of them there's one after the drop which by the way is already a very steep drop and then one in the middle of the layout that's literally a wave turn that was crazy guys aside from like the really well themed water coasters like legende hollander at efteling that's my favorite one i've ever done i loved it oh look at that that looks fantastic this is twist a mock ride spinning coaster good to see the sun coming out a little bit more i am done with the rain i'll tell you that if this looks familiar to you it's because it probably is this is a clone of dwarval wind at toverland in the netherlands which i have experienced before so this isn't a new layout to me but as someone who really likes dwarval wind i'm sure i'm gonna really like this too here we go on twist i think we're in for a pretty wild ride because I'm alone in my row, and in the row behind me is two people. So on the car that we're on, it's off balance. We might spin a lot. And it seems by now the rain has more or less stopped, which is good. You can actually enjoy the coasters to the fullest extent. Here we go! This layout looks awesome! Whoa! Oh god. Okay, so we didn't actually spin like anywhere near as much as I expected, but the layout was still really good. I liked it a lot. Very fun family thrill spinning coaster. That is great. So smooth, excellent pacing. God, I've had like almost no bad things to say about the past three coasters. They've all been amazing. Like what a trio for this park. And we're about to get on another coaster that looks really interesting to me called Azteca, which is a mine train type ride, but it's so odd. I'll have to show you guys when we get there, but I'm definitely a fan of this park so far. Like I haven't had as much time as I would have liked to just walk around the place, but it definitely comes across that the staff really care about the place 
place. The owners really care about the place. And here's some proof. The park was actually supposed to close in like a couple minutes. However, they're actually extending their hours and you'll never believe the reason why. They're citing inclement weather as the reason why. Because suddenly now it's nice, so they want more people to actually enjoy the sunshine and enjoy the rides in the way they were meant to be ridden. So I just think that's so awesome. I mean, the only other park I've been to that does something like that is Europa Park in Germany. So shouts out to La Paul. I love that policy. Okay, so I couldn't find any cool shots from off-ride to show you guys the layout because it's all kind of tucked away in the trees. I haven't really even seen the coaster until now, so yeah, here we are in the front row of Azteca by manufacturer Soket. This opened in, I think, the year 2001? Could be wrong, could be a few years off. Whatever the case, I did want to mention, they did a full retracking on this a couple years ago just to smoothen it out. Soket is known for kind of making some janky rides, so I really appreciate that. The park's dedication to a good guest experience is like abundantly obvious in my opinion. This place is great. All right. Whoa. Oh, it's so smooth, yeah. a fun family coaster very very smooth experience but it didn't really do too much to impress me i thought it was rather generic ultimately but i do appreciate the park maintaining that as well as they have something to note about the ride though the capacity is rather poor look how small those cars are it doesn't fit a lot of people on it so i'd actually recommend coming to the ride either right as the park opens or right as it's about to close like i did i mean it's not about to close but you get what i mean like later on in the day because earlier today like when the weather was really nice this was like an hour hour and a half wait when everything else was at max 30 or 45 but i literally just walked on the thing actually the wait time was still posted as a half an hour but no i literally walked on and suddenly the weather is so nice so <laughs> france everyone and Anyways, we got one last roller coaster to get on, themed to Tigers. I don't really know how to pronounce its name, but it's opened in 1990 from Reversion? What a weird one. This is kind of bizarre. So we're off, and I guess this serves as the park's kitty coaster, because it is the smallest one here, but it's still quite large in my opinion. Like, I think the park honestly should consider investing in like a really small kids coaster next. I'd also just like to add, it's a very peculiar ride. I mean, look at this, Reversion? Are you kidding me? I'm, the only time I've ever been on Reversions was their wild mice. So this is kind of weird, but I'm excited to see how it feels. Down we go. <laughs> oh, it's pretty tame. Kitty goes your tame? No, but it's tame. The end of the brakes. They actually send you around the layout twice, too. I do like that. Here we go. I had gone a long time without seeing any animals. I haven't even captured any for the video. I had seen a little bit earlier, but here's some parrots. He just said subscribe to Coaster Dash. Incredible. Oh, look at these guys. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I really wish I had more time in this park. It's a lot bigger than I expected, and it's also like filled to the brim with some really cool animals. So I just ran over, and finally I found one of the large enclosures that people were talking about. Only animals I could see right now are elephants, but that's still really freaking cool. Two absolutely massive elephants. So, much to my surprise, we actually will have time to get one more lap on Yukon Quad, which I'm happy about because I love this ride. Ah, oh, and it won't be raining so I can actually see. <laughs> this is it, the final coaster ride on this entire trip. I can't believe it. I'm sad it's coming to an end, but let's enjoy this last ride on Yukon Quad. We're about to take off. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And that's a bow on the Europe tour. Wow. 
Guys, this has been the trip of a lifetime, and I really mean that. More than six weeks long. Guys, I'm so tired. But do I regret any of it? Absolutely not. It was genuinely phenomenal from start to finish. Everything went pretty smoothly too. There weren't too many hurdles we had to overcome. It was just a great trip with amazing company, friends and family, tons of theme parks, more than 35 I wanna say. Originally it was gonna be just over 30. I think we ended up adding a couple. And every single one of those stops brought something to the table. Every country we visited, incredible experiences that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for joining me because none of this at all would have been possible without your support. Doing YouTube full time has been a goal of mine for a long time, and soon, I think we might be able to make that a reality. With the rate that this channel has been growing, it's real to say, but this really could be my future. And it's something I've wanted to do since I was a kid. Certainly, I didn't expect it to be theme park focused, but I'm not complaining at all. But trust me, there's lots more exciting stuff to come in the future. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone, and I will see you very soon. Peace out.